From the silent generation to Gen Z, each generation carries its fair share of stereotypes. But how do these assumptions really fare against research findings? In the North American context, suburbanization is well known as a strong force having influenced the way we live. This goes beyond the type of housing which is built and preferred. It also affects the way we move. Isn't it stunning? Dave has it all to himself. And I now have the ranch wagon all to myself. It's a whole new way of life. Let's look at the change in transport methods throughout generations. The typical transit usage of each generation sees a high usage early in life, followed by a fast drop-off in their late 20s, and then an increase late in life. In each generation, we see peaks in transit usage early in life, as well as in one's later stages. Additionally, as more populous generations age, an increase in health issues means more people become what we call captive users of the public transport system. It is therefore important to think about ways to improve access to this essential service. One barrier found all over urban areas are crosswalks. While many different types of intersections exist, they are typically designed around promoting efficiency in travel. This usually means that pedestrians are given just enough time to cross with as little excess time provided as possible. The result of this is that certain individuals, like the elderly or the physically disabled, are shown a lack of priority which often puts their safety at risk. The average walking speed of an individual aged 80 to 89 is significantly lower than the speed intersections are usually designed around, meaning individuals in this age bracket have a much harder time navigating intersections. A 2017 study of pedestrian crossings in the UK and the US concluded that even the majority of the wealthiest and healthiest people aged 60 years and older do not walk fast enough to cross pedestrian crossings in the allocated time. Another significant barrier to an aging population are stairways. Navigating stairways can be an issue for some, with stairway falls being the leading cause of accidental death among older adults. Low floor trams and elevators are important factors in improving public transport access, but represent only a fraction of the accessibility that should exist on transit. Other barriers are not directly related to physical mobility. Factors which would improve accessibility include large writing in a readable font and announcements in clear and understandable language. It is also important for information to be available in a format accessible to each generation. The presence of public transport staff and personnel to ask for assistance instead of digitized information is an important factor for making transit more accessible to an aging population.